What's up everybody, hope you're doing well. Exciting day today, I wanted to make another video for you today to show you how to download and install the iOS 14 beta and iPad OS 14 beta onto your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. As you can see here, I have iOS 14 installed on my iPhone 7. This is the first beta that was released just a couple of hours ago by Apple. And iOS 14 actually ended up being a huge update in terms of features, which isn't really what we were expecting this year. And so I will be posting a first impressions and hands-on review with those new features in a second video soon. But in this video, I wanted to focus focus on the install process. So let's jump right into it. Now this method that I'm using is the official developer beta directly from Apple. Reading on Twitter, it seems like there are a few sketchy profiles going around to download iOS 14 early if you are not a developer. And honestly, I recommend, I highly recommend that you avoid those and you install iOS 14 with the process that I'm going to show you in this video. The method that I have used is directly from Apple. It's how I always install beta profiles and it prevents your device from being bricked by malware. You won't have to worry about any code or junk that may be built into those third-party firmwares or IPSWs from other websites. And this method also guarantees that you have access to all future beta firmwares from Apple for one year. I know the temptation is to download it for free from a third-party website, but trust me, I've read real negative stories on that. But let's get into the good stuff here. If you are new to the channel, again, welcome, thanks for watching, and be sure to smash that like button below the video, guys, if you do enjoy this video. Now, the first step of the iOS 14 install process is to make sure that you have a compatible device. The iOS 14 firmware is compatible with the iPhone 6s and later, including the iPhone SE first generation, which was a nice surprise. They have not dropped support for that device yet, but it will be buggy just as a forewarning, guys. It is a beta firmware, so we should expect some bugs, but just keep that in mind. The next step that you want to do is go ahead and back up your device to either iCloud or iTunes or both. I recommend using multiple backups. I actually backed my device up to iTunes and to iCloud. For iCloud, you simply go into the settings application and then go into the iCloud section, and you should be able to find a section that has iCloud backups, and it has an option to back up in there. You definitely want to back up if you're going to install this onto any device so that you don't lose data. I also installed it on my iPhone 7 because it is going to be buggy and I didn't want to install it on my daily driver until we have a few betas in place and some of the bugs have been ironed out. Now the next step is to create a developer account if you don't already have one. To do this, you have to go to developer.apple.com and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should see join the program. You want to go ahead and click that and you do want to join the program. It will cost $100, but like I said, you get the official Apple betas no risk of breaking your device really and you do get access for a whole year to every single beta that is released so it's really a pretty good deal so i already am a member of this program and once you officially join this program you're going to go ahead and log into the website which i'm already logged in here once you're logged into the website and you're on this page go ahead and scroll down and then you want to go to downloads once downloads loads, you should scroll down a little bit and you'll see the iOS 14 beta section and all you want to do is go ahead and click install profile. It's going to give you a pop-up, go ahead and click allow, I've already done this, and it will download to your device. Once it downloads, it'll give you a pop-up that says your device is going to restart, so go ahead and click accept and it will restart your device. And then once your device restarts, you want to go into general, then go into software update and it should pop up with iOS 14. As you can see, I have it installed here with all of the widgets and really cool features of iOS 14 that they previewed today at the WWE. WDC. So really, once you're a developer and you download the profile, it's super easy. Just go into the software update section, click install, and it will download and verify, and it will update your device, and you will have iOS 14 running on your device. There are some pretty cool features in iOS 14, guys, especially with these widgets on the home screen. I have not gotten to test everything yet, as it's only been out for a few hours now, but I will be posting another first impressions video very soon on the channel, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, that's a quick overview of how you download and install the iOS 14 or iPadOS 14 beta onto your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Hopefully you enjoyed and be sure to smash the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel with bell notifications on for more iOS 14 coverage coming in the next few videos. Also be sure to check out my recommended tech products for products I personally use and enjoy on my Amazon store link in the description. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. I'll also have my social media profiles and my website linked below for you guys to follow and interact with me further. So drop a follow there. Thanks for watching and new videos every Thursday. As always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.